Hello, folks. Good afternoon. It's uh, Walt Diego down here in Ensenada, Mexico at Cruiseport Marina. I'm doing a little fishing today next door to Captain Ron's boat, the Serendipity. Captain Ron went into town to do a few errands. Everybody's here today. It's a nice day. A little windy, but uh, we're all here in the uh, marina in Ensenada. Take a look around, folks. Up there's the bug out vehicle, all ready to go. Over there's Alex from Canada. He's working on several boats. He's a mechanic, too, and owner. Here's uh, Captain Ron's Serendipity. And the there's a bunch of sea lions over there on the field dock. <laughs> and uh, I'm over here jigging, jigging away. So it's a little bit windy, so I gotta make sure I talk loud enough on this, uh, in this thing to be heard. But uh, things aren't looking good. Ukraine is under full attack. Who knows how long it'll last. Uh, nothing's changed. The United States, uh, rightly so, is refusing to get involved uh, as far as uh, directly involved fighting Russians. Of course, we're doing everything we can behind the scenes to supply Ukraine with everything we can think of. So, got a bunch of guys over here working on this boat. They're the local guys that are always here. I think they, one of them even worked on my boat when I had my boat here a few years ago. So, it's a good day, folks. Any day, anytime you're on the water fishing, it's a good day. Or sailing. Or just on the water in general. Beautiful boats over here. Beautiful. Captain Ron's needs a little work here. As it turns out, it's a 63-foot uh, schooner. Ferrocement schooner. With the bow spread, it's like 75 feet, but the official length is 63 feet. And uh, when I do get in the water here, who knows, maybe next week's a little cold today, but I'm going to be down there scraping the bottom of his boat. You can't see it now, but it, it's quite a lot of growth down there. And then uh, he basically, he wants this outboard motor on this uh, dinghy right here, this runabout dinghy. And he basically said I could almost have this boat. I don't know. He said if I want it, take it. But I'd have to get a trailer on my van. And then uh, over there is a boat ramp that I could uh, pull it out of the water and then, uh, work on these pontoons somehow. This is a, it could be a nice little project, you know. But I need a trailer and then a place to store it. So, a lot of projects here. Anyway, uh, my only thought on the war, besides I'm glad I'm not in a Ukrainian refugee having to, you know, find a home in Poland or someplace. Uh, it's just uh, how angry and mad and furious I am at Putin. He's the devil himself, you know. Um, but at the same time, uh, they did offer the Ukrainians like four options uh, that they could uh, give up their arms, quit fighting, uh, basically surrender Ukraine to the Russians and become subjects of Russia again, which is uh, terrible, horrible, but that's the only way they're going to stop killing uh, everybody. So it's a big decision. Basically, if you're going to fight for your freedom, you might as well count on uh, giving up your life or your family's life. It's uh, horrible, but that's the price of freedom. We take it for advantage because uh, our forefathers and the soldiers before us gave their lives up for our freedom. 
So we do take it for granted, folks. Thank God for our veterans who fought and died for our freedoms we have. Okay, uh, I plan on, I got to catch a fish, either catch it with the um, jigging here with my broken off pole, <laughs> or uh, I really want to get on my wetsuit, mask, snorkel, and fins and get in the water, get under there and look at the bottom of the boat, start scraping on it, and then uh, get my spear gun and I'm going to get me a fish, I'm going to spear me a fish this year. Uh, maybe as soon as the water gets a little bit warmer, I might need an assistant too to help me get in and out, in and out of the water. I'm going to show you guys that I can do it. This old fat boy can do it. Okay, folks. Take a look around. That's Alex over there from Canada working on his. He's got four boats, I guess. He's retired. Doing a good job. He's lived in Mexico like 20 years. And over there is the uh, sea lions. I know the little woman loves her uh, sea life. She's not here today, folks. Uh, she's watching kids up in uh, Tijuana. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Take care. God bless.